right. Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Tom. I'm really sore. That's Coach Cole. Brooklyn's hanging out over here. She's really tired. Uh, and welcome back to her back for boot camp workout challenge. Um, this is workout number three that we're going to be hopping into. So congratulations for making it back. Uh, we're going to be starting with our warm up in just a few minutes here. Quick things though. First off, you do need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So uh, Coach Cole's going to be using the dumbbell. I'm going to be using a kettlebell. Today's workout is a little more technical if you're going to be using a kettlebell. So if you have the option for both, you might want to just stick with the dumbbell for today. Um, the other thing is, please, 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 before we get going, before you get all sweaty and you kind of get into it, like this video and then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You hate hearing it. We hate saying it, but it really does make a huge difference. So I appreciate in advance you doing that. With that being said, it's time to get this party started. Coach Cool, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. We're actually going to start on the floor today with some quick 90-90 hip twists. You'll get yourself seated. Just put your feet nice and flat on the ground. Where you like to squat, maybe a little bit wider. Ideally, my hands are over both legs, and I'm going to move both legs down to the right. We'll try and touch both my knees to the ground. And I'm going to bring them all the way up through the middle. Come all the way around the opposite side. We can for about five each direction, ten total. If this is tough on you and you have some nice tight hips or low back, you can let those hands come on the floor for a little bit more balance. That's all right. I need a warm up before I warm up. <laughs> How many are we doing? Ten total. I think I did three each direction. I'm on four. Why is your back all sore? Um, just a lovely, lovely workout. Lots of burpees. And Swings and... It's not my favorite muscle to be sore. Do you have a favorite muscle that gets sore? Um, I really, uh, sure, yeah. Before we answer that, we're going to flip one around to our hands and knees. We're just really nice and quickly going to take our left hand, fall it all the way up to the ceiling, take a couple quick breaths, open up here. And loop all the way down and under and sit across that arm. Be here for about 10 seconds. Just stretch that shoulder out super quick. We're gonna do some overhead today. And back on all fours, right on our arm up to the sky. Take a breath or two, reach a little bit farther up and move down the rail. And since we're on the floor, we'll find ourselves in a nice high plank from your feet or your knees. Gonna push up for me. Walk your hands back up to those toes. Roll it on up. That was one inch worm. I'd like four more. We're going to do five inch worms. While we're doing these, Todd can tell us about what his favorite muscle to be sore is. Honestly, I'm pretty glad if I have anything sore as long as it's not my back. No, well, that's not the boat that I'm in. Today. So, yeah. Because if it's my back, I'm pretty miserable. But when you get into certain workout routines, your, your, your body starts to adapt to it. So, you usually don't get sore. Yeah. And so then, when you do get sore, it's kind of a nice change, but um, two or three times I had really bad lower back pains from <coughs> pushing movements, pushing squats when I didn't have the proper hip mobility. So, <coughs> that I don't miss. No, I will say, kind of like rolling around on your glutes on those sides, it helped me. Like, like, like if you sit and you really find that tender spot yeah. and hit there. I can't remember if it's the same side or the opposite side. We're going to do some arm circles, both arms at a time. Let's go 10 forward. Coach Cool does, Sorry, Coach cool does not want to hear my advice. No, I want to hear your advice. I just want to keep people moving here. Switch direction once you get 10. Go backwards. Once you get 10 backwards, you'll do 10. Give yourself a nice big slap on the back. Jumping jacks, feet out, feet in, arms overhead. Get down some movement. I really enjoy that my abs are sore. Like I love a good sneeze and then wincing in pain. <laughs> it's definitely not nearly as fun when my back is sore because I need it for everything, but I think sometimes people get a little bit mixed up on the difference between your back being sore and your back being in pain. You like this muscle, you have to use it. Once you finish out 30 jumping jacks, we're going to widen our feet to where we like to squat. We'll hit 10 air squats up and down. And 
And after a 10 minute squat, you can do one of two things. Go quick, grab a drink of water or your weight, anything you need. Or leave in the comments, what's your favorite muscle be sore? Mm. Okay, so we got about another minute or so until we're gonna be explaining the movements and the format of our first part. Uh, this is gonna be in two parts, like all of our boot camp workouts. That means the first part is gonna have a strength focus, 10 to 12 minutes. The second part is gonna have a conditioning focus, somewhere, I don't know, 15 to 18 minutes for the day. And then we're gonna go ahead and get you out of here. What's your go to for a sore back when it does exist? I mean, I ate my. Ibuprofen, just stretching. Oh, oh, like when I have a sore back, yeah. I'm stretching and rolling it out. I don't really, I can't really take ibuprofen out to the stomach. So, um, stretching, rolling it out. Uh, just it. ibuprofen, like acetaminophen as well. Acetaminophen's like, fine. That helps. I don't think it's kind of. I take Tylenol. I don't need like anything. Um, and I'll what about take, like a leave. I'll take a few. I don't really try to leave. No. I don't know. My, I'm not. It's not that. Thing in my life. Although one time I did like a max effort pull up test, rest five minutes, and do it again. We did it five times in a row. Strict pull ups. Strict pull ups. And I, I was in college and I could not wear my backpack when they're on campus. I, it, I could, you know, it could not touch my back because I would like freak out and pain. Probably the source I've ever been, like in my steps. Um, so I like carried my backpack around the classroom for a couple days. So I had no choice. But the real question what was the biggest set of pull ups you did? Like, I think the first I did was 18. Oh, that's number. This is terrible, but I don't know. Well, pull up. I probably couldn't do 18 right now, that's for sure. Well, we got a couple movements hopefully you're in love with. We got the push press and we got the snatch coming up. Um, so let's go ahead. Coach Cole is going to be using a dumbbell to demonstrate these two movements for us. Uh, the push press is going to be first. He's going to get the dumbbell to that front back position. So the head is resting on his shoulder. He's got a shallow dip forward. Then he can open up his legs and hips and then finish with the press overhead. Go ahead and get a few more for the push press. We're gonna do 10 of them. And then once he gets that 10th one overhead, we're gonna go into 10 snatches. So from uh, either the overhead or from that hang position, I'm sorry, from that front back position, going into the hip hinge, finishing with this lockout overhead, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. You can set that down, okay. So we're gonna do 10 push press, and then we're gonna do 10 snatches on one side, 10 push press, 10 snatches on the other side, and then we're gonna do some body weight, reverse lunges. So Coach Cole is going to take a big step backwards. What we're looking for is a vertical shin. Uh, so his knee is stacked over his ankle there. When he stands up, he's going to be driving through the, that heel of that forward foot. And then go ahead and switching sides. Big step back, vertical shin, and then switching. Um, that's going to be the third movement. That's great. Thank you. Uh, what is going to be? The format's going to be every two minutes. So three, two, one, go. We're going to do 10 push press, 10 snatches. 10 push press, 10 snatches. That can take you up to 90 seconds. However much remaining time you have left, that's what you're gonna be doing reverse lunges for until we start back at the top. So we're gonna be scoring today's part A workout. So the strength push portion is gonna have a score. What you're gonna be counting is reverse lunges, that's it. So everything else is a buy-in, everything else, all the push press and snatches is the work that you have to do. However much time you have left, then you're going to be trying to bang out as many reverse lunges as possible. When you get to the end of the strength portion, we'll remind you then, but please put the total number of reverse lunges in the comments as your score for today. So, uh, last chance before we hop in and we get this clock going, I'm going to get the clock ready. We have push presses, snatches, and lunges coming up. You starting on your left side, coach? I'm going to start on my left side. Starting on your left side. All right, let's do this, 10 seconds. I'm gonna start on my left as well. So starting in five, left, 10 push press, 10 snatches, three, two, one. Here we go, push press. Remember that shallow lift forward, finish with the press over head. When you get done with the push presses, go straight into the snatches. When you get done with the snatches, switching to the other side, 10 push press, 10 snatch on the other side.
Okay, you're just about one minute in, one minute to go. Should be getting close to the snatches, if not already there on that second side. Once you get done with that last snatch, weight goes down. These are body weight reverse lunges. We have about 40 seconds to get these lunges rocking. Cool, so as soon as that weight goes down, take a big step back. One counts as one, so I just did one. Now I did two. Keep on counting up for another 30. Again, this number is super important. One, because it'll help us score, keep track of our workouts uh, for the boot camp cycle. And two, it'll give you a good target for the next five rounds. Well, this is round one, we got five more. But how many, how many reverse lunges do you kind of want to hit? If Todd gets 14 right now, that's going to be a good goal for him to get somewhere near that 14 range for the next five rounds. We have. Five seconds and we are back on that dumbbell for push presses. In three, two, one, here we go. Right. Back to that left side. So now as we're going through this, as we're going through this, if you have your dumbbell or if you have your kettlebell, you want to be trying to use this hip hinge as much as possible. And so what I mean by that is as you hinge the hip, try to keep your forearm glued to your stomach as long as possible. And then once you're finished, so let's say I'm overhead for the snatch, I want to wait. I want to wait until the weight pulls me back into this hinge position instead of just anticipating it and hinging before the weight actually comes down. So the more you can keep your forearm making contact with your body, both sides, both movements, the more efficient you're gonna be. And so, less energy you're gonna be using, which means you have more energy for those reverse lunges. You're over 60 seconds in, so you should be hopefully on the push press or the lunges on the second side. Coincidentally enough, I got 14 reverse lunges. Wow, so Coach Cole really, really has me dialed in. I know myself. So that's going to be my goal for this round. I didn't count last time because I was busy talking, so I'm counting this time. I'm sure he'll come up with at least 15 then. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling next round I'll be going for at least 16. Okay, we got 20 seconds before we're back to the top. Less than 10. Back to the top in three, two, one. Here we go, back, back to that left side. side. I got 20, 21 minutes. With a push press and a snatch combo. You probably heard this already in this boot camp cycle. But if we need a uh, quick reminder, a great place to rest is where my dumbbell is right now. Overhead, pull it stronger, right above your shoulder, your arm placed and locked out. You've got a lot of room for air in here. It's a better position than here, and it's a better position than here for resting. Cool. So in that snatch or the push press, you can always take a quick breath overhead, reset yourself, get up for those 10 and switch arms. About 45 seconds in. Seconds in, 60 seconds to go. Ooh. All right, you got just about 30 seconds. Consistency 
What we're looking for today in three, two, one. We are back on that dumbbell into round four. So we just passed that halfway point. Three good rounds down, three good rounds to go. That was 22, by the way, coach. Oh boy, I just want, just want, to, keep, want to keep you on the same page. So we're halfway, coach, what was just saying? So, as we're going, these two minute rounds are back to back. I don't have any more to rest. It's gonna be rest when we're all done. So, Coach Cole was saying, thinking about building your rest in to a certain part of the movement. That overhead position is, of course, uh, a good place to be. The other one is, for this round, and the two that we have after it, trying to not let those numbers of lunges decrease, right? Maybe you gotta move a little bit faster, push a little bit harder, dig a little bit deeper. But whatever number you've established, by this point, to be the lunges you can do in your remaining time, try to keep that number consistent. We got 60 seconds in, 60 seconds to go to get through the rest of this round, round number four. Okay, 40 seconds left. Uh oh. Coach Cool's got a lot of time here. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Right, 
let's finish up this right hand side. Get these lunges done, then we can have a nice little break. Give yourself a little target, see how close you can get. That's how we help ourselves move. When we're on our own, even when we're not on our own, in gym with other people. Last 30 seconds. Don't know what number I'm on, let's go with five. All right, come on, let's do it. Finish up with these lunges. 20 seconds to go. Too far in the hole. All right, we're finishing up in three, two, one, and five. All right, nice job. Get a drink of water, take a minute here. Hi, did you wake up? I think I'm gonna start to realize that when the clock beeps and Todd and I say time, that means something. Sometimes the workout's done. Sadly, the workout's not done yet, but halfway. You are smart. Thank you, girl. She woke right up, that's cute. All right, Ooh. got about another minute or so. Coach Cole's gonna walk us through the uh, movements and the conditioning for the format. Excuse me. Uh, we're located right here in New York City, filming in Midtown about right now, uh, if you hear all the noises outside. So if you're in New York City or the New York City area, we have live classes every week, in Manhattan, Queens, and uh, Brooklyn. So all that information you can find down in the description. What do you want? <laughs> All right, group. Our workout today is a four minute mix. You've seen from us before. One of my favorites to run because it makes each round a little bit more manageable. It keeps us moving at a good pace. We have four different movements. We're going to do them for 60 seconds each. Back to back to back to back. We'll rest for 60 seconds after. Then we're going to do them for 50 each, then 40 each twice, and 30 each twice. And we'll be up and out of here. All right? We go down the ladder. Um, Todd is going to demo these movements for me. I will always explain them in order. First 60 seconds we're going to do today are cane squat cleans. Cool. You're going to do three on your right arm, three on your left arm, alternating side to side until that 60 seconds is up. Todd's going to demonstrate this for me. He's going to grab onto that dumbbell with his left arm. You're going to do a nice little swing, keeping his elbow nice and close. He's going to find that kettlebell right up in his front rack. And when he catches it, he's going to find himself in a nice squat. Cool. So we'll do three on his right side, sorry, left side, whichever side he's on, and then three on the other side. Cool. Back and forth as many times as you can. Then we're going to hit the floor. We have a little combination minute here. Todd's going to do three push ups for me. He can do these from his hands, his knees, or if he has a couch nearby, he can elevate his hands to make the circuits, the push up a little bit easier for him. After three, he's going to flip over, and he has three per leg, single leg knee up. So he's going to reach for his left leg, his right leg, his left leg, his right leg, and one more time, his left leg his right leg. Then he'll roll on over again, do three more push-ups, etc., etc., until minute two is up. Then we're going to do a plank. Nice static minute for minute number three. Todd is going to find himself on his hands for a nice tall plank. If anybody has any um, wrist issues that you start to feel super duper sore, you can always knock that down for a nice forearm plank for me as long as you keep your butt squeeze, your core tight, and get a nice flat line. Cool. We'll start with that plank. We might mix up some other planks later on. Don't worry about that. Fourth and final minute are going to be 10 high knees, nice and quick. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, nine, nine, ten, ten. Three burpees on the floor. Give me a little hop, two. And for last one, three, you can rest. But if we're working out in the workout, we'll go right back to 10 high knees and three burpees to finish off with a nice little heart rate spike for the deck. So, have about 30 seconds, find some space. The only thing you need is that same weight you've been using for some pain squat cleans. We'll get it rocking. Think it's a safe Todd? I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a lot of heavy breathing coming up. Mm -hmm. That's what I gotta say. That's what we signed up for though. Come on. Now there's actually 30 seconds until we're moving. Hey squat leads is where we're starting. Three on the right, three on the left. Side to side to side to side. 15 seconds till we go. Ready, Brooklyn? 10 seconds. 
Alright, okay, we're starting. Four, three, two, one. Hands on that weight. Swing, pull, catching the squat. So last movement we were doing the snatches. And I was saying, trying to keep your forearm glued to your body as long as possible. This is still a hinge movement. It's just that you don't want your weight to come out super far. When you come back up, you want to keep it close, 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 and finish in that front rack position as you go down to a squat, instead of doing it and having the weight swing out and then crash on your shoulder. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds go. Switching between sides, that's the three. Twenty seconds. Okay, ten seconds, and then we're switching. We're going into three push-ups. Three per leg, six total single leg V-ups. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good. On the floor again. For those push-ups, you can be from your feet. You can be from your knees. Some of the three push-ups are probably pretty manageable for a lot of people. If you have a couch or a chair nearby that you can stick your hands on, I would prefer an elevated push-up over a push-up from the knees just because the body position of pain keeps us working towards a push-up a little bit better. Rolling around, switching from three and three for another three to five seconds. All right, you got just over 20 seconds to go. Three push-ups, three V-ups. We'll be going into a plank after this, holding that static position for 60 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And flip it on over. Again, I prefer a nice tall plank, but if you need to drop it down to the forearms today, that's awesome. I'd rather you plank than not plank. Breathe it and squeeze it. 15 seconds in. Whew. So when you're in this position, what, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about centering my shoulders over my hands, trying not to lean back too far. I'm thinking about squeezing my butt, especially because our core needs to be squeezed. Obviously, I think most of us know that for a plank, but we also don't want a nice relaxed butt. A relaxed butt's going to cause us to smile a little bit with our bodies. We don't want to smile, even though I love smiling. We just want to be nice and straight. Take a coffee table. Here for 10. What are you thinking about during the dinner? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Dinner? Yeah. Steamed rice and unseasoned grilled chicken. Four, three, <laughs> two, that's what I eat too. Why? We're up to 10 high knees. Three burpees. Oh, I did a lot of burpees yesterday. Oh, yes. Or I guess the day before, no. All right, you're 20 seconds in, 40 to go. Remember, after this, we get 60 seconds of rest. So we got the four minutes of work, 60 seconds of rest, and then we're going into 50 second rounds. Got about a little over 20 seconds to go. Good team. Work right through that beat for me. 10 seconds, then you got rest. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. We are off. All right, that's our longest round. Longest round is done. 50 second rounds are next, but you got 50 seconds of rest first. Whew. What's up? <clears throat> Brooklyn wants to work out today. I should teach her how to do burpees. I think she could do. Yeah. Like over, over something. Yeah. yeah. I just have to spend the time to have lots of treats and a lot of patience. You get a lot of treats on that day, I'm sure. But that'll be a fun 20 seconds. A fun party trick. trick. Back at our main squat, please. Ten seconds. Back at it. Three and three. 
You got five, three, two, one, and we are moving. Take an arm, try that. Three. Todd's doing a great job. When he catches that dumbbell, and goes down for a squat. Making sure his feet are nice and planted. If we're doing air squats or goblet squats, um, we're more likely to keep our feet nice and flat. But sometimes in a hang clean, where we're finding that weight on the way down, let's get pulled onto our toes. Try and do that back. Oops. Did I just kick you, Brooklyn? Thought I kicked the dog. Just the weight. Um, really find yourself in a nice balanced position. Weight in the heels. Don't let that weight pull you forward. You can pull it nice and close to you. Staying tall. We got 15 seconds. So we're on man two, which is three push ups, three single leg lay ups. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Three push ups, three per leg, six total of the single leg lay ups. When you're doing these push ups, particularly as you start to fatigue, one, we already discussed having your wrists underneath your shoulders. But two, think about rotating, 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 keeping your fingers pointing forward so that you can keep those elbows tucked close to your side, not having them flared all the way out. You got 20 seconds to go. Ticking away, ticking away. Ten seconds, and then we have a plank. 50 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Here we are. Up in that nice strong position. Squeeze your butt. Keep your belly button nice and tight. Don't forget to breathe here. So the other things that I'm thinking about when I'm doing a plank, very similar to Cole. I'm trying to think, working my way out my body. If I keep my quads squeezed, it's gonna keep my legs locked out. If I keep my glutes squeezed, it's going to keep me straight through the hip. And then if I keep a nice tight core, it's going to stop that rounding of the back. So the combination of squeezing my quads, squeezing my glutes, and then that nice tight core, it's going to give you that nice straight line. You got 15 seconds to go. Remember after this, we got 10 high knees, three burpees for 50 seconds. The switch happens in five, three, two, one. Here we go, hopping on up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway, not halfway, sorry, nine nice. seconds here. Remember, we got rest coming after this. 20 seconds, and then we'll have 50 seconds of rest. Resting in 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Yeah, two longest rounds. Don't be gone, just like that. All right, I need some more water. We got our 50 second clock of rest counting down. And then we're going into 40 second rounds. All right. <coughs> Getting somewhere today. 20 seconds. For the 40 second rounds, we're gonna mix it up a little, yeah. Mix it up a little bit. We are gonna choose an arm. I'm going left. Left arm first, we're gonna do all 40 seconds of our hang squat cleans with that left hand in five, four, three, two, one. You are moving. Speaking in. Girl, we are all on that left arm. Right arm doesn't even have to work, it gets this whole round off. Keeping those feet nice and flat. Swing, pull, catch, squat. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Six, five, one more for me. Three, two, one. Good. Push-ups and the ups stay the same. Three push-ups, 
Three per leg, six total, single leg V ups. Fifteen seconds to go, and then we're going into that plank hold. We are moving now. Plank in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Very good. Ten seconds in. Squeeze those quads. Nice tight glutes. Nice tight core, nice tight stomach, halfway. Yep. Fifteen. We're gonna be five by ten. My knees and three burpees. Six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Oops, sorry. One, two, one, two, 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 three, three. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, hit the ground. Halfway done. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds to go. Then remember, we got forty seconds of rest. Coming up, it's happening. Four, three, three, sorry, two, one. We are off. We have three rounds down, three to go. The first three were longer, the second three are shorter. We're gonna keep grooving. Hang out here. So remember, we're gonna be starting back with our hang squat cleans. All right side, all right side this time. You got just about 20 seconds till we're back in. Hang squat cleans in 15. Last set, last round of 40. Back in 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. If your right arm is stronger than your left, this should even be setting us up for some success because most of our right arms are stronger, but it might not be. If not, it doesn't really matter. We got 30 seconds. I want us to try not to let go of that dumbbell. Take a nice smooth rhythm, 25 to move. Nice full squats, please. Cool at home, alone. It's easy to kind of get a little bit lazy. I really want you to find yourself all the way down in your bottom position. Not mine, not pause, but what is the bottom of your squat for me? Just like that. 10 seconds left. Push ups and V ups. Not quite yet. You got five seconds. Three push ups coming up in three. Two, one, here we go. Three push ups. Three per leg. Single leg V ups. Small sets today, so try and keep your heels off the floor for the end of those V ups, especially for the workout. You're not doing a ton. You can flip right over and do some more push ups. 15 seconds. In a plank, in four, three, two, one, here we go. I would ideally have a stick with the same plank we've been doing, although if you need to drop it down to keep yourself up in a nice nice little movement, please do that. Doing a great job breathing, squeezing so far. Breathe in through your stomach, not just your chest. Lots of people like to think their lungs only fill up their chest. That's not true, they go all the way down to the bottom of that abdomen. You have much more room for air in there than just the top of your chest. Pass that way. All right, you got about 10 seconds to go, and we're headed, heading into that last station. And high knees, three burpees for the 40 seconds. Switching in three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds in. Good. Halfway. 
So you got about 15 seconds to go. We got 40 seconds of rest coming up after this. We're trying to push, push, push. You got 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and five. There it is. All right. Last 40 second rest. After this, we're moving in to the final lap here. 30 second rounds. So, hang squat cleans. We were doing all on one side and then all on the other side for this 40 second rounds. We're gonna do that again for the 30 second rounds, but we're also gonna mix up the plank this time too. Yep. So we'll talk about that when we get closer to it. 15 seconds for the last, um, next to last round of our hang squat cleans. Less than 10 seconds. Left arm. Left arm. Sounds good to me. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're on it. This is your last time. Last time on the left arm. Make it count. It's only 30. Ten seconds in already. Last ten. Five, four, three, two. Find some push-ups. Here we go. Three push-ups. Three per leg, single leg V-ups. Quick 30 seconds, we're gonna take a right side single arm plank. Coming up, just my executive decision. Would you like it on the hand or the forearm, Todd? Your call, coach. I don't like a forearm. Side you plank. Cool. So I'll get into the position. You have six seconds to follow me. And four. Three, two, we're on our forearm. Our hips are not sagging, they're a nice straight line. Try and not let them touch the floor like so. One foot's on top of the other. If you need a little bit of balance, you can take one foot just in front of the other. But we're here for 20. Hanging on. Arm in the air if you're feeling good. I broke on a couple boots. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I need a super. Not a lot of time. Here we go. Last two minutes of work, so you're almost there. Just like that. Here we are, 40 minutes of work so far. Done a lot of stuff today. Sure has gone we by fast. It, done. it is almost there. Best foot forward to the end. Got our right arm hang squat cleans in Sorry. 10 seconds. Oh, I'm sweating today. Go five, four, three, two, 30 on this arm. The last squat cleans forever. Not really. Just for today. Almost done. Less than two minutes of work to go. Let's finish this nice and strong. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. And we're on the ground for some push ups. That's the V ups. Last time, three push ups. Three per leg, six tape, six total. Single leg V-ups. <laughs> 10 seconds. Couple more push-ups, then we're in a left side, forearm, side plank. In five, I'll actually get there for you guys. Four, three, two, heads up, Ten, one. We are up. Again, don't forget to breathe here. Put some air into that stomach as well. It's your last minute of work. Last 15 for the plank. And then you got high knees, burpees, and then we're gonna get you out of here. 10 seconds, we switch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, up and running. Hit the floor. Okay, 
Here you go. Last station, last 20 seconds. Let me rock for today. Keep it rocking, keep it moving. At 17 seconds of breathing, you won't regret it. All right, you're down to your last 10 seconds. Almost there. Let's go, let's go. Couple more reps. Five keep seconds going. to go. Right through, right through. Keep going. Keep going. Three, two, last one. Time. Woo. Nice job. Outfit. Good girl. Nice job, everybody. All right. So you made it this far. You made it through workout number three of our boot camp workout challenge. 12 total workouts are coming. Um, hi. So, if you made it this far and you haven't already, please, please, please like the video and then subscribe to the channel. We upload new videos every week, so you'll get notifications when you subscribe. Plus, it really, really helps us, so we appreciate that in advance. Uh, I was saying before, if you're in New York City, we have live classes every week in Manhattan, uh, Brooklyn, and Queens. So, down in the description, you can find some links to learn more about those. Uh, also, if you're in New York City, also in Manhattan, Queens and Brooklyn, we have one-on-one -on -one private training if one-on-one -on -one is more your thing. All the workout, <laughs> all the workout gear that you see, uh, all of it's available online, also down in the description. And then last but not least, if you want to say hi to me, oops, to Brooklyn or to Coach Full uh, on Instagram, our, our handles are down there as well. So until the next workout, until workout number four, we're going to see you. Until then, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. And that's Brooklyn. Peace. See you guys.